because that's another kind of rap. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, last week I was like, I should raise my voice a little. Now I'm going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's Christmas time in Alice Queens. I'm about to do some real nice things. And if you don't know, Ariana Grande said, I got simmering. Yeah. Hot fire. Hot fire. Dylan, Dylan, and Dylan. I mean, you know. <laughs> Here I am looking for my superpower. She found hers. Yeah. So, who, you know, this was just like storming <laughs> Area 51. I was uh, waiting to see what people really were going to do. I was with ready this. to fly, though. Real talk. I was ready to get up here and fly. I wanted to be a fly on people's mind. Because I wanted to know what people were thinking. But is that a superpower? I mean, it may not be. <laughs> but when you think about it, like, if you could read minds. Yeah, that I, I feel you. That is a superpower. Because then, you know, if I'm in a job interview, I know it's not going well. So I'm going to just pack that thing up and roll <laughs> Let me get on about my business. Uh, I'm, I'm going to log out. Right. So you can save yourself a lot of heartache, pain, and Problems and you just go in. Facts. And, yeah, it ain't really not feeling me. I'm gonna go in. See, I don't like. I didn't like my answer. What's, what's your greatest weakness? <sighs> not being able to say no. That didn't work for y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and log out. Y'all validate parking. <laughs> Great, get them up with. But welcome back what up, what up, to what up, what up, what up, another what up. episode of Insert Subject Here. We back. I'm Makia. I'm Ant. And welcome back. Make sure that you guys like this episode. Yeah. Subscribe to the page. Yep. And I forgot to say, you know, as the as the folks say, and turn that notification bell on so you'll always know Bing. when we set a new video. Bing. Put the button on so you always hear and know when we're not doing this. Year. this. All right. <laughs> so happy holidays, yes, everyone! Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Kronzika, whatever it is that you celebrate. All that good stuff. All of it. Uh, we done went to the end. We're nearing the end. We're in the home stretch of 2020. Um, and keeping with the holiday spirit. I'm not holidayed out. I ain't get the memo. But I was at pre-production. I love that people ask me, did, did I pay attention to pre-production this week? I did. I paid attention this week. <laughs> I just didn't get the Christmas memo. I was at the end when I had logged out. Well, I had to change my shirt because I wasted some stuff on me. So I was like, Christmas time. So I'm going to put my shirt on. I like and, it. Thank you. I'm glad you like it because this week's episode, we're talking about things we hate. Things we hate about Christmas. About this holiday season. So, I am going to kick it off. Let's kick it off. With, and and um, the panoramic really helped me out with this one. <laughs> um, because I've been teleworking since March. And so, one thing that I absolutely despise about the holiday season is office Christmas parties. Office Christmas parties. And let me tell oh, you why. God. I don't like suffering through figuring out who made what. Like, I'm not a big potlucker. <laughs> and then I don't like when people look at me funny when I have like a little itty bitty plate because all I got was like some crackers and some cheese from the crudite platter because I know that it came from like came giant. From or right. And so then they like, you don't want to try my meatballs? And no. I'm just like. No, I don't. No, Karen. I don't want. They're light skin. Look, I, so I thank God for the, for COVID nineteen. Not COVID. It's COVID nineteen because it saved saved us from those dreaded office Christmas parties. Mine's weren't as uh, uh, elaborate as Makia's has been. You know, we we get together and we we all bring in something. And and I knew the people who I couldn't eat from, and that was nobody because I'm picky. I'm just a very picky eater. Anybody who knows me knows that. And I thank God for COVID because I haven't had to lie. At all this holiday season, mm -hmm. it's been a blessing. When they be like, "Did you like my macaroni and cheese?" <sighs> like, what was that? Three, four cheeses? Would you? I take a little goot. A little gouda was in that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing it. No and more. another thing with the office Christmas parties is that freaking secret Santa. Yeah, it, it's with hard the ten dollar limit. With the ten dollar limit, what am I going to find buy for me ten dollars? Just don't get me nothing, then. And I feel so horrible because I overthink it so much, and then I'm like, I can't you get do. a gift card because then if they open it up, it's and, so impersonal. It's so impersonal. It's ten dollars. So, 
I don't know what else you do with ten dollars. So I think, and that's what I just want to put the ten dollars in the card. Like, just take this. You supposed to just walk and ball it up, throw it at them. <laughs> <laughs> take this damn enormous with you. <laughs> so thank you, Panoramic, because I this year. You. Listen, that was last episode. I, I'm gonna keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> but this year, I was able to successfully duck out the office Christmas party. Speaking of food, to keep it on that same line, one of the things I hate about this time of the year <clears throat> is figuring out what you're supposed to eat the week of the holiday. Mm-hmm. Like this has been eating out is dumb. Yeah, because you're like, this week. I'm it's, going to eat this on Christmas. <clears throat> oh, I don't. Yeah, we got we had this on Christmas. I don't want to eat none of this. And mm-hmm. then you get to all the places we went to a couple places so far. And I think we like one for one for four. Today was the only yeah one for four. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go one for four. And it's like you don't want to eat what you're gonna cook, but you also don't want to eat something too far from what you're gonna cook. But the service is horrible because people are pissed that they gotta be at work. Yes. It's cra- Excuse me, it's crowded. And I'm sitting there looking like I thought we were supposed to be at 25 percent capacity. Not at all. That's we, a lie. We went to Buffalo Wild Wings. Bruh. On Sunday and we were back to back. I was like, this is not this is not six feet. It wasn't six feet. The only booths, the only um seats that they did hold were the booths. Were the booths. All the tables, we were just back. I turned around somewhere, it was right on my back. I was like, I, this is definitely not six feet. This is I feel like covert is gonna get me today, baby. I don't even feel like I'm I'm in a good spot right here. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad right here. So this is that's one of the things I hate the most. That figuring out what we gonna eat. My my wife has fixed heat up type meals mm-hmm. and the kids won't eat that. You don't wanna eat out. Right. I'm about to just buy some peanut butter and jelly and that's all we're gonna eat the rest of the week until it's time for Christmas. You're so sweet. That's easy. Another thing that I do not look forward to for the holiday season are Christmas cards. Sending Christmas cards. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. Like, are you supposed to decorate your ledge with them? I mean, I know at work and stuff, people put them on their cubicles or they tape them up to the office door. I'm not. And every day I would come in and this fresh batch of Christmas cards. And I don't like, because I don't know what to do with them after the holiday season. So then I'm sneaking, trying to throw them away. And I don't want you to see that I threw you gotta them. Do, you got to do my trick. So when they ask me what you're going to do with your Christmas cards, I say, I'm going to take them home because my kids like looking at Christmas cards. They like to, <laughs> like, that's my thing. I tell them that every year. And I take them home. By the time I get to the parking lot, I drop them in the trash can before I get into my car. That's the cool thing. So my advice to you guys is buy the dollar store cards because we throwing them away. Don't get the cards at all. I say, if you're going to get them, get the dollar store card. Because if when, when I get a card, you know, I'm most people think that things are supposed to be inside the card, but it's I just do. empty. I, it'd be a bunch of empty cards. It's happy holidays. That's and it's just a waste of money. And it's good for the environment if you just don't get that. <laughs> shoot me that email. <laughs> shoot, me, shoot me the happy holidays email before right. you leave. Save yourself the card. <laughs> I feel that. So, in going on, um, Another thing that I do not look forward to at this um, magical time of year is y'all are not holly and jolly. Why is you so mad? I just do not understand. This is the most wonderful time of the year. But y'all are so angry. Y'all are fighting over PS5s or yeah. whatever the new technology is. Like, this is not yeah. holly jolly nope. Christmas time. Not at all. Not at all. It's, it's so crazy that This is the time of year where you're so excited about spending time with family, or at least I am, that when I'm going out and trying to pick up a few things here and there, just to make somebody's day a little brighter, I got to run into everybody with an attitude. Mm -hmm. And it kind of dampens the mood for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a big Christmas music guy, so the Christmas music doesn't always quite get me going. But I can't combat your attitude and my lack of liking Christmas music too much so I just got this Christmas by Chris Brown on repeat 17 million times trying to get myself back in the mood cause you mad why you mad you shouldn't don't shop right if it's if, go in the house if you're gonna stress yourself out then stay in the house stay in the house nobody asked you to come out here with us happy people <laughs> Happy be- I can't sing that one. He canceled, right? <laughs> Better stop for the cancel. Oh, I do I not. Heard. I do not endorse the singing of that song. <laughs> I stopped. I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> another thing. Another thing. Since we're on the topic of people not being holly jolly, the other thing I hate about this time of the year 
is the traffic. Oh my gosh. I had to fight through 15 minutes of traffic to get some Breathe Right strips and some soap. It is unbelievable. It was ridiculous. Like, I feel like everybody waits until the three days before Christmas to come out the house and go shop. And then we're all sitting trying to fight for the same six parking spaces. Mm-hmm. What is going on? Nobody wants to order all. Oh, yeah, because they said UPS. Yeah. You did say UPS was yeah. on the But listen, Amazon's not. <laughs> Call Jeff. <laughs> Jeff will get you right. <laughs> I ordered something, got it that morning at six in the morning. Yeah, th- that traffic is a doozy. It's just like gridlock. It is. It's it people. Is. And then I'm always like, come on out. But then I try to let one person in and all the rest of y'all just try to keep they on. They bombard. Oh, it ain't my they, goodness. Uh, they bombard you. They think because you let a break happen, oh, that's for everybody. No, right. it's not. It's for that one car. Right. And then y'all block intersections. Like, you know, at the end she of the. She say, y'all, y'all better stop blocking her. And she got real over She I, I, And it's bad. I'm working on that. I am a worker work in progress 2022 <laughs> I'm gonna have this thing down pat <laughs> but and I'm not a mathematician mm-hmm. but I am sure that the stores we visited have not been operating at 25% capacity no I mean I, we went in one store was nobody even counting yeah it's no counters going on no more Oops, so, forever 21 forever 21, forever 21. Nobody. and they had both sides open which because we shouldn't we have been in there because they canceled we was just reading Let's move on. All right. All right, cool. Another thing that um, does not get me um, happy in my happy parts, and follow me now, (laughs) that I don't look forward to is the Salvation Army. Now, let me explain. The bell from hell. First of all, Salvation Army, y'all have y'all people working in deplorable conditions because it's cold as crap outside. Oh, it's freezing out there it is free and then i feel so bad because i'm like you gotta stand out here like and they and they i have to say i have not run into one unhappy salvation army -er. i have i have and 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 i'll say today when we left the walmart which i hate going to my homeboy called me bougie he called us bougie he was like y'all like to say to prefer target and i was like it's target since you want to call me yeah they put everything together everything i just i'm lost in walmart i had to ask somebody like where the trash cans. He said the indoor, the outdoor ones. I said you don't put them together. <laughs> <laughs> so they're separate, sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> that is the bell from hell. Listen, they need it. They need to have a cash app or a QR code. Right, because who still carries around cash? And I feel so bad because they out there when I go in the store and when I come out and I'm like, I just I don't have anything. Listen, and that's fine, but they too close to the door. Ma'am. <laughs> Can you please move? <laughs> you and your bell. Take it six feet. It's still covert 19 out here. They don't know about the panoramic. They don't care about the panoramic. They don't care about none of this. <laughs> care about none of this. <laughs> so, speaking of them and they bell and they begging. One other thing I hate about this time of year, and I say hate, is kids who think their parents are going to go into debt. Because they saw an ad and then they want something, but they don't know why. Exactly. And I'll give you the case in point and prime example from my home. My youngest, who is 10, I gave her the list. I said, you have five things. Put five things you would absolutely want Mm -hmm. on this list. I said, I might not get all, but I'll pick and choose. Her list started like this. (laughs) App, iPod, iPad Air 2020, PS5, and the GoPro. That was three <laughs> of the five <laughs> slots on this card. And then the last two were like bubblegum and lip gloss. Like, yeah. And then, ma'am. <laughs> and then we asked, like, what? You don't even play video games. Why do you want a PS5? And she was like, yeah, I don't know. I just want the PS5. I'm going to take it further than that. She barely said good morning to me on my birthday. Oh. Like, what are you, you? You ain't even say, like, you said happy Father's Day. I ain't getting no ugly tie. I ain't getting no handprint. I ain't getting none of that stuff. I got a happy Father's Day, and you want $16,000 worth of electronics. I wonder what she's going to do with the GoPro. Like nothing. It's does she gonna, even know it's what gonna to go do? Go lost, right? Does she even know what to do with a GoPro? 
But if um, she did, how is that number three underneath iPad I, and, and I, PS5? I get you. I get you because I wasn't going to get it. I'm glad. And I'm definitely. I, wait a minute, she in the house, so I ain't gonna say it too loud, but she gonna see this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Try again. Got him. <laughs> Try again. Speaking on and keeping with that theme, one thing that grinds my gills. Oh, it grinds it. Oh, it grinds it. <laughs> at this holly jolly Christmas time is. All of the photos that you guys post of all the gifts that you got for your kids all over social media. So I'm scrolling because I purposely don't look on the 24th and the 25th because I know it's going to be fun. It's like back to school. You know, back to school, everybody's posting pictures of their kids. And that's cute, but I get tired of giving out the the sympathy hearts. (laughs) Sympathy heart. (laughs) Um, Because, I mean, the kids still look the same like they did last year. But all of the gifts, like I don't care what you got little Timmy Turner for Christmas. I'm just going to, I'm going to tell you that. I don't care. Did you call him Timmy Turner? (laughs) (laughs) I'm just that's just not that's just not me and if you go through my stream you'll see I don't po- like I is it sh- I don't know if it's shameless I bragging I used to I used to but it was because everybody else did it and I was like I don't want them to think I didn't do anything for my kid <laughs> and that was the reason and that was the reason like, I, I didn't want to be left out it was FOMO I didn't want to like right. I did buy my kids some stuff but then you think about it you look at everybody's picture you're like y'all wasted y'all whole Walmart layaway on some stuff they ain't gonna be able to find next week let me tell you something Post your pictures. I'm coming to get your PS5, your GoPro, and your AirPods. Post it. Post it and see what I get. Keep working. I'm gonna rob me in person. Watch. Post it. Post it. Watch me be. Merry Christmas. What's the cookies? Here goes some cookies. Run it. Put my hand. Run it. Why? Why though? Why does everyone do that? You know, it's that. It's that. I want to one up the world. It's not for the kids. It's not for the gifts. It's for the... Do it for the gram. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. Listen, I'm not going to tell you what the kids got. But just know it ain't the iPad 2020 or the PS5 or the GoPro. That ain't here. Ain't no point to come here. They did get the bubble gum and the lip gloss, they though. Got, it's popping. Because they're <laughs> lip gloss. It's popping. <laughs> oh, it's popping, pop. Uh, mm. So... Let's get into our feature business for today. Oh, yeah. So, if you have noticed, we have been sipping, and this has been and courtesy. I'm starting to perspire around yes. my forehead. And this has been courtesy of Spout the Poor. Come on, Spout the Poor. Come through, Spout the Poor. Yes. And what we have this evening is her concoction called The Mix Up. And The Mix Up can be a mix of two to three flavors of any of the items made. So this one is a mix of dark rum and whiskey. The fruit is mango, pineapple, and peach, Mm -hmm. and strawberry. And it also is a sangria in here, Sauvignon Blanc, white wine. And the peach makes a big difference in this particular one. It's not your normal sangria, let me tell you that. I'm sitting. (laughs) And everything is fresh, the fruits and the juices all are fresh. She playing. I'm not playing. And she also let us um, try a new one, her strawberry mango margarita. And so these are just to show you the different sizes. And she has a whole bunch of different sizes and prices. We're also going to link um, a picture here that she did um, some bottles for Anthony's party. We had it was lit. lit. I threw him uh, um, it's the effing Catalina wine mixer. Boats and hose. It was so boats and hose. And um, she made my bottles and we worked together and crafted all the different flavors, the sizes and everything that I wanted to do for his party. So I highly recommend her. Kudos to you. Kudos to her. Listen, they, uh, they was, it was right. Everybody was right. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So I will say the hashtag for the giveaway, but we are going to do um, a $30 giveaway towards your purchase of Spout the Poor. So, Anthony, what do you have for us this week? Ready, camera one. I don't have a rant today. Um, I think the only thing I wanted to drive home today 
that was important was spread love this holiday season. Why? It's um a lot of people are having a hard time with the holidays and everything that's going on and the lack of social interaction and mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's a lot and it's hard. It is. But it's something taking some time out of your schedule to spend some time with your family members, with your kids, doing some things you don't normally do or don't normally have time to do. If I had a a gamer in the house, I would sit down and play a few games with them. Or my daughter likes to draw, draw. I'm gonna sit down and make some beads with my daughter Jordan when she wants to make some beads. Like, but just spend some time doing some stuff you you don't normally do because people are having a really, 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 really tough time this season Mm -hmm. because people like to interact with social social beings. the late great civil rights activist Ella Baker said, give light and people will find the way. Your shine is not just to highlight you, but to illuminate the way for those who are lost. And this holiday season, people find themselves in depression. You got the mm-hmm. holiday blues, you got the Christmas blues, and they feel lost. So use some of that light you got, that happiness, that joy, that peace you got to help them find their way back to that as well. So, again, spread a little love this holiday season. Do something you don't normally do. Spend some time with some people. Take some time out of your day. We ain't going nowhere. COVID's still holding us hostage. It's, it's a panoramic. So, so do something different and make, make somebody else feel special this holiday season. That's all I got. Aw. Fun to rant. That was cute. I like that. <laughs> it's cute. And now I got to follow that because I'm, I'm, I'm not so positive. <laughs> hey, listen. Righteous and ratchet. <laughs> So I have a question. Mm. I have noticed in my travels that a lot more people now are, while they're shopping, they are on their cellular devices and they're frolicking around the stores with no headphones on and they're FaceTiming or they've got people on speaker. I don't understand why you want everyone to hear your conversation. I don't, care what you I don't. I don't want to hear it. And y'all are so loud. Like the, like if you put the headphones on, they can hear you better. So you don't have to scream <laughs> through. And I would like to know where that even came from. Like yeah. what started people yeah. not wait because you're gonna have earpods. Like you can have the, the your phones come with earphones. Mm-hmm. So I. That really brands my biscuits. Because <laughs> y'all are just like, you can't push the card and hold the phone. Just like. <sighs> Breathe. Breathe, Debo. This week's hashtag is earphones are for everyone. <laughs> hashtag earphones are for everyone. Earphone. And listen, if you are one of these people that I'm talking about, I need you to comment down below and just explain to me why you don't wear your earphones. Because maybe there's a legit reason. It, it's not, but I would like to see what your reason is. Because there's no reason. I really want to know. There's absolutely no reason. So, if you would like to win that thirty dollars, let's make it forty. Forty. It's forty. Forty. For the holiday holiday. Season. Okay. It's okay. 40. You feeling feisty? It's, 40. 40. it's this. It's this. Ooh. It's this good mix up. It, I, and 40. let me tell you, I wish you could. I'm gonna let um, you. You girl. know how they have the channels where you can listen to people and they be like, listen, listen, listen. Ah. Oh, that's good. That is really good. Oh, it's really good. Oh. It's so fr- Let me tell you something. I'm setting. You know how you go to restaurants and you can taste the mix, the concentrated yeah. mix behind the alcohol? This is so fresh. It's, it's smooth. She does such a great job. It's smooth. Um, so, if you want to win that $40 towards 40 bucks, your shorty. order, we've spelt the poor. You have to like this video. We're going to put her contact information yes, down below. Yes. Go yes. visit her, like her page, um, place an order, support. We're all about supporting everyone, even the people that don't wear earphones when they're on their phone. But the hashtag to win is earphones are for everyone. Earphones are for everyone. And if you keep talking on FaceTime without earphones, I want to knock your phone out of your hand. And then why are you on FaceTime looking at the ceiling? Like, y'all not even look. That's- What's the point? Like, sorry, so I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Apple, Apple users. Hey. Hey, friends. 
What's the point of going on FaceTime if you're going to pause and not look at people? That is a very good question. I'm, I'm, so if, if I need that information just for my own edification. So drop that below if you're an Apple user because everybody's team Apple except me. I'm team Samsung. I am too. I'm team we Samsung. We rocking with Android. But if you're an Apple user, what's the point of FaceTime if you're not looking at faces? Yeah. Yeah. She might. I feel like she put weed in here because that was a good question. <laughs> well, this was a very good I, episode. I dig it. I we dig hope it. you have a very happy holiday stay season. Stay safe. Stay masked up. Spread some love, guys. Please. And also spread some hand sanitizer. Just put- <laughs> and, and on that note, I am Anne. And I'm Makia. And thanks, thanks for stopping, stopping by to tell some issues today. today. Happy holidays. <laughs>